Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting the series Comsol for Beginners in 2023. This series is being recreated with an intention to provide more information so that you get help to develop your research problem. We have already started this series and a few videos have been uploaded. I would request you to watch the entire playlist because this will give you more information and clearer picture about COMSOL simulations. Most importantly, if you are very, if you are new to this software, then this series will be helping you. Today, we will be talking about two-phase flow. We have already started working with single-phase flow. We talked about pipe flow. Today, we will be talking about two-phase flow. So, if we go to model wizard and then if we go for a 2D model for the time being, then if you go to this fluid flow option, you can see in the fluid flow physics, you have multiple options such as you have multi-phase flow, you have single phase flow, the first two options. We have already talked about the single phase flow, laminar flow we took, creeping flow is nothing but uh, an approximated laminar flow where you don't have the convective terms so that we have already talked about turbulent flow if you have a flow which is not in the laminar zone which has high Reynolds number you need to go to this uh, turbulent flow the people who works in turbulent flow they are aware of those models like k epsilon model like k omega model and there are multiple other models and based on your requirement, you can actually take your physics, then you can look into the equations and then you can implement your problem. I don't work much on turbulent flow, so I will not be making any video for tar on turbulent flow as of now. But just to give you a basic idea about turbulent flow, I'll be making a single video on K epsilon model. But as we progress with this series. So today I go to directly multi-phase flow and in multi-phase flow, the most popular one for chemical engineers, for mechanical engineers is this phase field and level set. Those are the two equation, two physics, which we generally come across for modeling different phenomena. Like if you want to see uh, rupture, of a liquid thread inside micro channel under external force fields that force field could be electric field force it could be acoustic force so if you are trying to model those kind of situations then this phase field and level set is very important today i'll be talking about the level set and if you just go to the level set laminar flow you also have the Brickman equations, I'll talk about it, the, that is the turbulent of two-phase flow. So the most important thing is, it is coming as a package. So when you are taking this two-phase level set option, then you are basically going for a SPF, that is laminar flow, a level set, a multi-physics coupling, there are under multi-physics, there are two coupling. So what exactly multi-physics coupling is, we'll talk about it in this particular video. So now we go for, you can see when we have taken this multi-phase flow, that is two-phase flow level set, it is automatically suggesting me to take this study. What is that? This is time dependent with phase initialization. I have, been, I have been talking on this since the very beginning of this series. COMSOL has some inbuilt solution, some inbuilt studies, not solution, some inbuilt studies based on different physics. So when you take a particular physics, it will suggest you some studies and those studies will directly be related with that particular physics. So you have to take that particular default option and so we go ahead with this time dependent phase initialization study 
I double click on it then it will be added to the physics interface you can see yeah now we came to the main window and as you can see laminar flow level set multiphasic so the first job is let us see the equations the laminar flow we already have seen it multiple times so you can see this is the laminar flow equation they have not taken the uh, steady state i mean this is a study control option this is basically and a steady state equation because you can't see any time dependent term so what you can do basically is equation form this is study control if you click on this drop down option you have multiple other options say stationary time dependent projection method and all among those i only use these two options those are stationary and time dependent as of now this is taken as a stationary condition but if I want to go for unsteady state, I will be taking this time dependent option. So you can see when I take the time dependent option, this time dependent term has been added. So now I go to the level set. If I go to level set and go to the equation, you can see we'll again go for the time dependent model. So in time dependent, you can see this is the equation. So we are basically solving for some function phi so here phi is the dependent variable and that dependent variable is governed by a particular differential equation and that differential equation is level set equation so in a simple language if i tell you a level set basically takes care of the fluid interface or rather i can say fluid fluid interface two phase flow means you have two immiscible liquids and whenever you have immiscible liquids you will have an interface so if you are applying forces on the liquid space then what will happen that interface may deform because we know fluid is something that cannot resist shear stresses and if you apply a force field in a immiscible fluid medium then the interface may vary interface may undulate based on your applied force sometimes those interface may shear off it can generate multiple droplets or something so all those physics in terms of all those phenomena in terms of mathematics is nothing but looking into the interface what is happening to the interface and this particular equation is responsible for doing that particular job so you can see here this is a convective term it has a surface tension term and this phi has a value that is varying i will show you so if you go to the initial value this is phi equal to zero and other fluid phi equal to one so basically if you have two fluids one fluid you have to tell phi equal to zero the other fluid you have to tell phi equal to one now what will happen at the interface at the interface the value of phi will transition from 0 to 1 now this transition cannot happen very fast so what exactly happening i will try to explain uh, with an with a simple drawing so let me open this one okay uh, powerpoint is being opened so let me take a blank page so basically what we are looking into is so we basically have let me take a simple curve say this is a kind of curve okay so this is a curve so that curve may be defining an interface that means say you have a suppose this part below the interface say so this is a particular liquid say so this is a liquid a and suppose beyond this interface you have another liquid say outside this is liquid b now what we are doing is say at this liquid the phi is one and 
at liquid V the phi is 0 but when I am just moving from this particular space to this particular space then I have to cross the interface so this change of phi value does not happen very sharp that means in two phase flow instead of a sharp interface it is basically thinking for thinking of a zone a zone like say if i draw it here so basically it is thinking about a zone if i can explain it like say this one is your liquid one on the top say you have liquid two if i define it by two different colors so say this is one liquid and say this is another liquid so at the interface there is a transition so say this is phi equal to zero and this is phi equal to one so at the interface the phi value goes like this from zero to say 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 and when it crosses this blue zone and comes to this zone it becomes phi equal to actually 1 so from 0 to 1 and this interface has a particular thickness and for your simulation this phase field you have to define this interfacial thickness now if you are trying to model it very accurately so ideally this interfacial thickness should be 0 but what happens in practice in mathematics we cannot take a zero thickness interface we will basically be taking a certain thickness that thickness can vary from few nanometers to even few micrometers suppose i am working uh, in a zone where the first liquid pool is in the dimension of say 10 100 micrometer and the second liquid pool also has a dimension of 100 micrometer so in that case even if i take one micron of interfacial thickness that's that's good enough but if you are uh, so if you are trying to work with say uh, microfluidic channels having two phases so your microfluidic channel may be of 10 micron diameter so in that case if you take one or two microns of interfacial thickness that will give you wrong results in that case you have to take a thinner interfacial thickness so it depends on your physical problem on your physical situation that how much interfacial thickness you will be taking there are two other parameters which are very important when you work with this laminar flow and i will talk about those in a separate video today i am not going to those parameters but in level set those parameters are very important so you can see this is the multiphase coupling i was talking about it how the multiphase coupling is being done if you go here you can see there are two physics that is taken together there is laminar flow and the level set then how exactly the laminar flow and level set is related so you can see in the laminar flow you are solving for the u and if you see the equation of the level set it has an option u so this u is nothing but the u of the spf so there those two equations are coupled if you are not solving it simultaneously then you are making a mistake or you can't even uh, proceed with the simulation so now again go to the two phase flow so here you can see the properties of fluid one the properties of fluid two that may come from your material so now let me just try to do a certain simulation we go to centimeter i take a particular rectangle say rectangle of width 10 and height say 2 by 2 centimeter yeah this one is fine and i may take another rectangle at the top say i'm taking a square and the square would be placing at two at certain x distance say two if i click here yeah that one now let me take 
to materials say i'll be going to the material library i'll look for water say oil water flow this is very popular in fluid mechanics so we take water we also take some oil there will be some oils randomly we can take some oil say where is the oil mm, liquid oil we have to take so let me see uh, let us write oil liquid something should come uh, some engine oil or something we can take yeah engine oil is there so we take it say here is my engine oil and the other section is water so this becomes the interface now i solve laminar flow in the entire zone in the laminar flow i have to have one inlet say this is my inlet at this inlet i define certain velocity say 0.001 meter per second i have to have another inlet through which the another fluid will come say this is the inlet for the other fluid this velocity is say 0.01 so we are taking 10 times of the other one now we'll be having one outlet so i take outlet and i choose the outlet here then i go to the level set in the level set it is asking for the initial value one uh, it should also be asking for the initial value two because there are two fluids so if i take initial value one say this is the fluid one and initial value two say this is my fluid 2 this is basically fluid 1 the water fluid 2 engine oil so fluid 1 is water water is a top so here this is water so this is oil so the water is phi equal to 0 similarly you have to take two inlets here as you have taken here so this is your inlet from this oil will come so what I can do is I can make this one as inlet 1 phi equal to 0 water is coming from here and I can take another inlet and I can make it here so inlet 1 is phi equal to 0 so inlet 2 would be phi equal to 1 so that basically indicating uh, this phi equal to 1 means the oil is coming from here water is coming from here now what i need to do i need to define the outlet condition so that is the outlet here it will be kept at pressure equal to zero or something here it will be pressure equal to zero yes and this is the level set condition for the outlet now we go to the two phase level set flow here i have to ensure that two materials are selected like it is asking for the material one that is the domain material we have already defined the domain in the material so when i say it is coming from the domain material it will be taking properties from the domain material fluid 2 is domain material again we can do this so property will come from there so initial values level set model so th those are the two parameters i was talking about so those parameters are this is reinitialization parameter and the interface thickness parameter i have already talked about that interfacial thickness so it has certain by default value today i'll be proceeding with this value but in the next lecture or some other lecture we'll be talking about these two parameters how it affects your simulation what should be the standard values of those two and how exactly the values affect your simulation that i will be talking about but for the time being let me proceed with the meshing this is a good mesh and the simulation will be sluggish because we are solving more equation so we should solve it for a very short duration of time say 
0.01 second I just want to show you whether the simulation running or not before that yeah it's done so let me run on compute there might be some errors if any error comes we'll rectify it fortunately no error I guess it should run everything I have defined perfectly so okay I forgot to do the multiphysics coupling that's why grouping is coming so I should stop the simulation I'll show you where exactly you need to do the multiphysics coupling so under study option if you go to the solver configuration and then you'll be getting solution under solution if you see you'll be getting time dependent solver one you have to expand this option you have to right click on the time dependent solver you'll be getting an option fully coupled yeah so if you choose that it will now do your fully coupled simulation as i have mentioned this problem is a coupled problem because the u from the laminar flow is coupled with the u in the phase field or level set equation so this one is a level set so we'll be only thinking about the level set so you can see the simulation has started and it is running so if you look at the convergence plot if your problem is properly posed then the convergence this reciprocal of step size that will keep on reducing if it is keeping on reducing that means your problem is properly posed you can see here the time step it is gradually going down as it goes down your simulation will be faster no actually this is the time step this is not going down this is going up you can see this reciprocal of step side will go down and this one will go up if it is going up that means your simulation is faster you should always look at those values so the simulation will take some time but we can actually wait and see whether the things were properly defined or not if it was not defined properly we'll look, we'll look into the solution we'll look into the solution and then we'll change it you can see I guess the velocity profile came nicely yeah then uh, if I go to the volume fraction you can see what's happening it just started flowing but we did not simulate it for longer time that's why you can't see any flow but yeah it started you can actually see it's moving the interface is moving and if you go to the velocity you can see the flow is happening so from here that was a higher velocity so that's why this flow will go like this so you can uh, you can try this simulation and run it for a longer time say 10 seconds or something then you will get uh, <coughs> get the flow so I stop today here I'll be uploading more videos in this particular series. Keep watching.